everyone i'm nidhi welcome back to my channel so i'm done with my first year mbbs and now i'm entering my second year which is starting from 20th march at the end of our first year we have to appear for our final exam which is known as the university test so first we have the theory papers which happened in jan and then we had the viva which happened in march right now so there are some instructions that you have to follow for your viva you have to wear formal clothes if you're a girl you have to wear a full sleeved kurti and you have to tie your hair properly you can't leave them open if you are a boy then you have to wear a full sleeved shirt neatly ironed you have to wear your white apron and on the white apron you have to put uh, your roll number tag so you have to make a small tag which you have to attach to your apron in your final exam you have got your internal examiners as well as the external examiners the internal examiners are your college professors and the external examiners are the professors of other colleges who have come to your college to examine you so in today's video i'm going to tell you about my anatomy viva experience i'm also going to tell you about my biochem and physio viva in the upcoming videos so basically anatomy is like one of the most direct subjects of first year but to be honest it wasn't that horrible so this time uh, we had got two external examiners and two internal examiners the two internal examiners were our uh, anatomy professors and the external examiners they were from the other college the anatomy viva is basically divided under into four heads uh, first of all we have histology spotting secondly we have histology slide identification and discussion then we have our embryology viva then we have a viva for soft parts then our viva for hard parts and then we are done so in the spotting first we have 10 histo spots where you get 1 minute for each spot so you have to quickly identify you have to look under the microscope and identify and write down two three identification points for each uh, slide that you observe after you're done with the histo spots you got five clinical charts again you got 1 minute on each chart so after the histo spotting and clinical charts you have to go for your embryo viva and along with that you will have the radiology viva as well so there are a number of models kept on the table the examiner might ask you to uh, choose one of the models and start talking about it or he may ask you to pick up a model of his choice so you got at least 2 3 minutes uh, in which you have to describe everything you know about this model and then once you're done the examiner might ask you a couple of questions and let you go so then when you go for your radiology viva there are number of x rays kept the examiner will ask you to start talking about uh, one of the x rays you have to identify to which region it belongs you have to tell the examiner whether, whether it is a plain x ray or a special x ray and so on so uh, the embryo and the radio viva might get over in like 10 minutes or maybe even less than that so once you're done with this you then go for your histo slide discussion go you have to pick up a box containing two histo slides go and sit and uh, in front of your microscope where you have to identify the slide and then you have to draw it on a piece of paper write something about it so uh, after you're done with that the examiner will come and uh, he'll ask he'll check whether you have identified properly correctly and then uh, he'll ask you a couple of questions on that uh, histo slide after this you have to go for your living anatomy viva living anatomy is easy it is basically just palpation and inspection and all that there are a fixed set of questions which you might be knowing so this was the easy part of the viva and now we have the hard parts and the soft parts which carry the maximum weightage hard parts is again divided into two parts uh, first there is the appendicular skeleton and then there is the axial skeleton appendicular skeleton is your um, limbs which is you'll have the humerus you'll have the radius ulna femur tibia and in axial skeleton you have uh, all the bones of the head neck face so uh, you'll be having the mandible you'll be having the vertebrae then you'll be having the hip bone also when you're giving the viva please do not talk about something you do not know because if you mention something you do not know anything about the examiner will start uh, diverting the viva towards that particular topic and then you get stuck so only talk about whatever you know and be confident uh, don't let the examiner know you're getting nervous 
Uh, there's a small trick that some of us follow. So uh, when you're giving the radio viva or the embryo viva or the hard parts viva, you just keep talking, just keep talking continuously. Don't let the examiner talk, okay? Just keep talking. Talk about everything you know, every small detail. So the examiner will feel as if you know a lot of uh, things and he might finish your viva really fast and let you go. So basically don't give the examiner a chance to ask further questions. Just take a lot of time, uh, talk a lot about it and just be done with it. So again, next you have the soft parts, which carries a lot of marks. The soft parts is again divided into two. Uh, the first part is everything above your clavicle. The second part is everything below your clavicle. So above your clavicle is everything from your HNF and uh, neuroanatomy. You'll be having models of the brain, cut sections of the brain, uh, corpus callosum. Then you'll be having cut sections of your head, neck, face, thyroid, all the glands. And uh, below the clavicle is everything in your upper limb, lower limb, abdomen. So uh, below the clavicle is basically easier, I think. So my anatomy viva was pretty good, I would say. Uh, my anatomy professor praised me. She said that I've done it really well. Uh, but the external examiner kind of, she yelled at me, which is okay. But overall, it was good. The only key to doing well in your anatomy viva is be confident. Study everything properly so that you do not fumble. Uh, sleep well. Uh, sleep for at least 8 hours before your viva because you do not want to have any sort of a brain fog when you are right there giving the viva. So sleep well, eat good before the viva and be confident. That's it. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comments. Please share the video with your friends and family. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.